that was oh, we're lost piece over here Yeah, right back. Sis. I've been here before. An engineer called Daisy lives here. She was designing a rocket last time I spoke to her. Come on, there's an exit at the top of the staircase. Yeah, she. Well, we can't get through here. I wonder if Banku caused this mess. We can probably climb Daisy's rocket and get out that way. Oh, uh, push up. Okay. Yeah, I've been here before, and. The rocket is gone. I guess she finally launched it. Flying to the ether. Is that even possible? I guess we'll never know. But now we have to find another way to get out. What's that? And lost pieces. And I can move. Out. What's happening, man? Oh wow. <laughs> All right, can we move on now, please? At least we're safe now. Let's hope they find some peace. You have some powerful friends, Anne. I'm not sure. It must have been the caretaker. So the town background? <laughs> Remember the last time we were here? Don't remind me. It wasn't that long ago. Looks like another life. Come on, follow me. Being part of something bigger, that's all people lost people want. To form a whole, they are so great away that some of them that they lived bigger, I I uh they think that we had the power to change the lives of us the whole time. But I say ignore them and let them suffer in the lower streets. Hmm. You think you can convince me otherwise? You haven't met a belt before. You're a rebel and rebels are I want you off the streets. Who cares what you want? Yeah, you don't fool us. Sounds like you've been hit on the head a few too many times. All I want is to get back to the ether. Feel a foot again. All you want is to destroy my dream. And that's all it is. Dream. Take that back. Or... Or what? Or... Or I'll just spill you. You think this isn't a real depleter? You do it. A forgotten boot. A single boot. Your owner probably dumped you in a trash pile. Don't talk that way about my owner. No one cares about your owner. Yeah, keep going. We sure show them. Stupid, useless rebel. What a pointless loss. It was me. The boot. It was me. Not anymore. Come on. We need to move on. I can revive her. I just have to find a way down there. And? We can bring her back. Are you ready to distill two forgotlings to revive one? You're right. We better move on then. So, what is the plan? Getting inside the tower is not a problem. There's a secret entrance from my house. We still need to get past security at two stations, not to mention that lunatic gun forgotling. 
Chief Inspector Magnum. I can handle him. We'll pretend you're my prisoner, and he'll let us in. No questions asked. Of course. The gun nut will just let us straight through. Will you trust me for once? I think you owe me that. All right. Fill me in on the details, please. If I told you now, you'd refuse to go. Very encouraging. and revelator outside. Move it. I want to be cool. Is he kidding him? Not sure what they're doing. Hey, Billy, go back to your room now. Oh, wait. I want down there. What is that? Could you help me out here? Baka Star Town. Join your forgotten brothers and sisters tonight. Subscribers and show your opposition against the ruthless Bonko regime. Uh -uh. Yeah, if, I, if she had her wings, she could get back up, but she can't. That was a... Okay. Excuse me. That walkie-talkie got what he deserved. Play it. What do you think about this walkie-talkie business? He could influence it, you know. I think I have an idea. I can revive that walkie-talkie if you want me to. Well, maybe that's not such a great idea now I think about it. She can't revive him. The Arca doesn't work that way. It does now. If that's true, maybe we shouldn't revive him. After all, he did distill one of our own. I'll revive him no matter what you say. Nobody should really be wielding this power over life. I had to walk talking up because I had the right because I had to, but because I felt like right to thing too. He got a fair trial from the paint roar, who at the time I felt become truly happy. Unfortunately, the walkie talking ended up just one of the uprisings right away. I guess I'm wrong in this case. Sometimes you, just, you try to make things right by ending more wrong. Inspector Magnum has gone mad. He's detaining just about everyone he meets. Ever since he heard the enforcer switch sides. Jump! I don't think I can make that jump! Come on, Anne. You can do it. Just aim for my hand. Are you okay, Anne?
taking another round. Yes, sir. Look, Magnum's there. Don't worry. I have a plan, remember? About that. Isn't it about time you explain the details? The plan is we jump down there and I bestow you. What? We pretend that I went undercover to catch you. And to prove that I'm really on Bonkers' side, I distill you in front of everyone. I was distilled once, and that's more. <laughs> Let's just pretend that... Magnum needs to see me distill you. He has no clue that I can bring you back now. I'll revive you as soon as we're on board the train to the tower. You promise? I trusted you with my life once, didn't I? What do you want me to do? We jump down in front of everyone, and I say something like... Mr. Fig! And you say, Stay your hand. The darkness of your heart will never reach my soul. Long live the freedom fighters. It's <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. That was perfect. Really? You think so? Absolutely. Then I distill you, bring you on the train, and revive you. All right, let's get to it. Oh, boy. Conclusion. Indeed, you have. And now you will. Oh, if only you knew what I have seen with these, my eyes, what I have felt with these, my hands, what I have smelled. <laughs> when it's standing there, nostrils. Never again shall I perceive any sensation of the. No, you shall not, because I'm distilling you now. What will be after the Anima Sekani? I knew it! I knew you'd never switch sides! This was your plan! I told you, didn't I tell you? <laughs> what a plan! What a scheme! What a talent! Bravo, Enforcer! Thank you. It's good to be back. Something not right. You're right. We have to celebrate. No need. Everything is fine the way it is. The rebel leader was finally caught by me, the enforcer. Let me just get him on the train to the tower, and you can all go about your business. Yes, let's get on the train. Plumbum, see a big and box. Yes, sealing that no good wooden traitor. Get him on the train. Just a moment. Enforcer have not worried at all. We can trust Plumbum with this Madam Enforcer. Uh, Madam Enforcer. Allow me to escort you. I never imagined that my first time in the VIP lounge would be in your company, Madam Enforcer. Such an honor. It's over here. This is complicated. Endorser. Fantastic. 
That's the carriage, isn't it? Master Bunk who had it made for his trips into town. Doesn't get any better than this. I can't remember the last time I felt this calm. No rebel can reach us here. You sure can't. You said no rebel could reach us here, right? That's right. We're completely safe. What, with you here and me, of course. And me? Suppose a rebel did strike. What would you do? Well, I would hurry out of this lounge and conduct a good old search and destroy with them. You see? Madam Enforcer, Empath Plumbum can take care of everything. Just stay in here and relax. showed those puny rebels who's boss. Yes, certainly did. The rebels are cunning, we'll admit that. But our very own eye in the sky proved to be more cunning by far. I didn't do it alone. You're a team, remember? Madam, do you know that my work is that I have to be a part of this historic day? Thank you. Well, why don't we move into the... Imagine that rebel leader in there, lifeless in a dark box like the thing he is. Let's go inside. I can't tell you how great it feels to finally get rid of these pesky rebels. But you planned this all that morning when rebels broke into your house. But before that even... Oh, <laughs> a plan like this needs to be thought out carefully. And we succeeded. The fire of the rebels has been extinguished forever. I can't express my gratitude enough, madam. It was such an inspiration to me. To us all. On one side, we had the dirty rebels hiding underground. And on the other, you. High in the sky, the queen of animals. Well, figures started out of his box side to sell his doornail. I had to make my way outside of Magnum and Aperture and make cover in here. Now, as I was all talking, the temperature, temperature issues in my archive was getting hard to fight. I used the archive for something somewhere discreet. Or I'm sure you bonk is building the land of his. Never mind my ramblings. What was I talking about? Ah. Uh. What was that? The rebels! They're attacking! Em, we gotta get downstairs! Get them! Catch them! Steal them! One of us should stay with you, Madam Enforcer. Who do you prefer? Me or Em? You, Chief Inspector Magnum, of course! Well, you heard her, Em! They don't move on you, lousy bullhorn! Get her! Oh! Okay... Oh wait, I want that open. VIP to get issued a quill. <laughs> that you, you big trunk? Yes, me. Where am I? Wait, am I in a box? 
sign my book. Get me out. Well, I have good news and bad news. Of course you do. The good news is that you're alive again. That part of the plan worked perfectly. Wonderful. The bad news is that Magnum, Amp, and that big brute Flumbum are on the train with us. Never mind. T-Man and Vic can solve that. Just let me out. Well... That's the bad news. Flumbum put a huge cargo box on top of you. It's too big for me to move. You're gonna leave me in this box? Once we reach the station, I'll get you out. I promise. Then why did you revive me now? You could have just waited. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think of that. I'm so sorry. I guess it would have been better to wait. Will you be alright? Just do what you have to do. See you soon, Fig. Please don't forget about me. The rebels, madam. Sorry, I saw no rebels anywhere. Sneaky rebel waste. We'll get them sooner or later. I'll promise you that. Here we are, Tower Ground Station. Let's unload that jack and ape in a box. 